Hey, this is Down Too Fast here, and in this video I will show you this new power supply I picked up uh, from eBay. It just came in the mail today, so let me take it out and I'll show you what this power supply looks like. Here's a user manual. AC power cord. This is the power lead with the banana plug on one end and alligator clip on the other end. If you're shopping for one of these power supply and you're looking online, uh, you'll find that there are quite a few that actually look exactly the same, but the model number and the name, the brand name might differ. This one I got here has the model number uh, QWMS3010D and it's made by a company called Qualway Electronics hence the uh, QW logo on the top left hand corner here uh, but basically it's the same type of uh, control you have on the front panel and this one I have here is a variable 30 volt PC with a maximum of 10 amp and it's adjustable for both the current and the voltage so this one here I pay $78 on eBay is from a US seller uh, out of California if you are to choose one with less current say 5 amp instead of this 10 amp one uh, you can get one for say $50, $60 and it looks about the same now on the front of this uh, control panel you see the voltage adjustment there are two knobs here and the reason for that is because one knob is for coarse adjustment and the other one is for fine adjustment and over here same thing for the current so you have two knobs one for coarse one for fine adjustment and below that here on the bottom right hand corner you have the plugs for your DC output voltage and that's where you plug your banana plug into this one and then over here on the bottom left hand corner this red button is your main on off button so the back of this I've plugged the AC cord in and let me turn on the power. As you can see the power supply has two LED display each of them with three digits for showing you the current setting and the voltage setting and also has some nice features uh, it has some protection feature for over temperature and also short circuit protection to protect the load and the power supply itself the fan on the back of this power supply will turn on automatically depending on what kind of load you connect to this power supply. Let me show you how to use this power supply and it's very simple, it's not complicated. But I want to point out that the first thing I did was to upgrade the wire on the leads that came with this power supply. The original wires uh, were very thin gauge and it wasn't very long so all I did was unscrew the banana plug and inserted my new wire that's a little heavier gauge and longer in length and on the alligator clip side as you can see I just pull the boot back and then take the clip off the old wire and clamp it back on the new one to show you the voltage output on the power supply what I've done is I've hooked up the multimeter to the output so you can see the voltage reading and all you have to do is press this red button on the bottom left hand corner to turn on the power supply and as you can see on the multimeter it tells you it's 12.04 volt and on the power supply is 12.0 volt now to adjust the voltage on this power supply on this far right knob is the coarse adjustment and then next to it there's a fine adjustment so let me show you what the coarse adjustment will do as I'm turning this clockwise you can see the voltage go up and this power supply is rated to up to 30 volt DC and as I turn this on the fan actually turns on, I don't know if you can hear this so right now maximum is 31.7 volt multimeters measuring 31.64 volts so I bring this down okay so right now it is at 12.2 now if I turn the fine adjust knob that will allow me to adjust 0.1 of a volt so it gives me a much more fine adjustment on the voltage so 
So that's the difference between the coarse and the fine adjustment. The coarse will give you a quicker uh, adjustment to the voltage, and then the fine will give you more of an accurate adjustment to exactly what voltage you need. The current adjustment, the same thing, you've got a coarse here and the fine here. I'll show you how to use this power supply with your load so that you don't end up damaging any of your electronics. Because these power supplies are more low-end power supplies, they tend to have a spike on the output on the initial startup. It's only a millisecond, but it could be enough to damage any sensitive electronics you may have. So as you can see, right now my output is not connected to anything right now. And turn on the power. And for both voltage and current, I've set to minimum. So the first thing you need to do is without the load connected, set the voltage. In this case, my load is a 12 volt light bulb. So I'm going to set it to 12 volt output. Okay. The current is still set to minimum. But at this point, I'm ready to connect my voltage output of the power supply to my load. As you can see, everything dropped to zero because there's not enough current. The current is set to minimum right now. So now I'm going to bring up the current setting. Okay. And you'll see that it maxes out at 0.9 amp or 900 milliamp. The voltage is still maintained at 12 volt. If I increase all the way to the maximum current output, it's still 900 milliamp. And this is the current protection on this power supply, so you don't damage your electronics. Let me bring this down until you see that the current draw starts dropping. So right there, if I go back up and I get to 0.9 so right now I know this is set to 900 milliamp because if I go any lower the current draw will go down in the measurement also you'll notice the CC the constant current LED is lit up that tells me that's maintaining 900 milliamp coming out if I was to change this to say 700 milliamp that CC is still on is telling me that is maintaining at 700 milliamp coming out. If I was to increase this to 0.9 right there, this is now set to 900 milliamp. But if I was to keep on going, you'll see that this will switch over to the constant voltage. So right now it's 0.9 amp or 900 milliamp. If I keep on turning this up, now remember this power supply can output 10 amp. This is maximum now. Maximum output for the current still showing me 900 milliamp. So let me now bring this back down until the constant current is lit up. So we're, we know that we're outputting what is required 900 milliamp. So right there. 900 milliamp, constant current is lit up, so we know we're outputting exactly 900 milliamp. So now let's crank up the voltage. Now, this is a 30 volt output power supply or variable, it can be set to output 30 volt DC. Right now, this is set to maximum. I can't turn this anymore. You notice only a 12.8 volt because the constant current is being maintained and 900 milliamp. On the flip side, at this point, don't crank up this current. Because if you crank up this current, the voltage will go up. Just as a simple test, I'll unhook the uh, load. You'll see the voltage jump to 31.6 volt. Okay. Connect it back up, and you'll see this drop back down to 12 volt. 12.5 volt. Here's another example and I've hooked up the power supply to this Ryobi 18 volt uh, cordless uh, radio and let me turn this on
Now you notice that the radio is on, so there's power coming out of the power supply to power up the radio. But the current display is showing zero amp. And if I crank this all the way up, it's still showing zero, zero point zero. The reason it's showing you zero, zero point zero amp is because the resolution on this display does not go below 0.1 of an amp or 100 milliamp. So this radio is drawing less than 100 milliamp and therefore the display cannot show you let's say if it's drawing 60 milliamp, 80 milliamp or even 90 milliamp. And that's why 0.0, .0 is not that because this low doesn't use any current. So that's one thing to note about this. Well I hope this video will help some of you understand how these power supplies uh, work and how to use it and if you have any questions leave a comment below and if you like the video please subscribe thank you